Hi, I'm Christian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. Today we're working on a 40 inch side-by-side built-in Viking refrigerator. The customer's complaint is whenever you open the fresh food door, you can hear a bearing or grinding noise. That noise is actually coming from the axial fan motor. Uh, the axial fan motor is actually located in between the center divider here behind the cover. Uh, so that has to be replaced uh, to take care of the noise issue. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. The tools you will need to complete this repair are a Phillips style screwdriver and a quarter inch nut driver. To access the axial fan motor, we do have to uh, enter from the freezer side as well. There's two covers, one in the fresh food, upper left hand corner, and then in the freezer, uh, the uh, cover is in the right hand corner. To begin, we want to remove the top shelf in the fresh food section. Uh, to do so, you can just lift up, pull up, and pull out. In the freezer section, we want to go ahead and remove the ice bin cover. You just pull straight out. Sometimes you're going to have to angle it out just to get it out of the actual freezer compartment. To remove the freezer fan cover, there are two Phillips style screws inside both of these holes here. There's one up top and one at bottom. We want to go ahead and remove those so we can get access to the fan motor. To remove the fan cover in the fresh food section, you just have to remove the two Phillips style screws, just like in the freezer section. Once the cover has been removed, all the wires are exposed, as well as the thermistor, which is right here with the two wires. So if you want to get the cover out of the place, you can just slide the thermistor um, out of its little holder. Before we remove the fan motor with the bracket, we want to disconnect the Molex connector in the fresh food section. To do so, you just squeeze the tab and pull off. To remove the bracket, that the fan motor sits into, we have to remove the two quarter inch screws that are in the freezer section that are mounting the fan bracket. Once the screws have been removed, we can come back to the fresh food section and pull the fan bracket out. To remove the old fan motor from the bracket, there's two quarter inch screws. You just want to go ahead and remove them. Now we can set the old fan motor aside and install the new fan motor on the bracket. So line up the screw holes with the openings. Once the screws are fastened, we are ready to reinstall the bracket. Once the new fan motor has been installed into the bracket, we want to go ahead and reinstall the bracket assembly with the fan motor into the original position. There were two threaded screw clips 
on the upper right hand corner and lower left hand corner. When you're reinstalling the bracket, you want to make sure they're in that position to line up with the screws coming from the freezer section. Now once the fan bracket assembly is in its place, you may have to play with it while you're inserting the quarter inch screws to secure the bracket. Once we've secured the fan bracket into its original position, we can now reconnect the wires that go to the fan motor. There's only one way you can go on. You just snap it right in place. Once the wire has been connected, we can go ahead and reinstall the fan cover. First thing we want to do is make sure the thermistor is sitting in its original position just going to slide right into its spot. Once that's been done, we can go ahead and remount the fan cover using the Phillips style screws we removed earlier. Once a fresh food fan cover has been installed, we can proceed to the freezer fan cover to reinstall that. To do so, we want to line up the Phillips style screws we removed earlier. Once both of the fan covers have been reinstalled, your repair is now complete. Thank you for watching another quality in-home repair video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.